Hi there, guys, guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are here with more of these, of course, new weapons that will be coming back with Into the Light. And the next one we're going over is going to be one of my favorites, guys, legit. Pretty much my favorite pulse rifle that's ever been in the game, maybe for like no time. And it's going to, of course, be the Blast Furnace pulse rifle. Now, if you don't know this one, it came out with Black Armory back in, of course, the days of the Forge and everything, and the Blast Furnace, guys. This is one of the best freaking pulses we ever got it used to go ham 450 rpm across the four fire burst one of these really unique weapons but the rolls on this and how it felt was just insane it felt really good sounded really nice and the blast furnace itself is going to be returning of course with the into the light update that we are going to get 9th of april and this is a free to play update guys so everybody will be able to obtain these weapons so even if you didn't have these weapons before free to play so you will be able to obtain these again now and honestly these weapons they're also good there's so many coming back we did recluse already fast fairness mountaintops are coming back as transits freaking hammerheads so many goaded weapons are coming back in the blast furnace this one's gonna be really interesting i am gonna go over this it's gonna be getting some nutty rolls they are also gonna be changing the weapon around you can already see this is the old one we're gonna be using today my roll was outlaw kill clip really simple of course i used to love this meridian at rds or the marin rds I will say it's unfortunate they are going to be changing the weapon around. It's going to get barrel attachments and we're going to be stuck with the Rasmussen ISA, which I don't think it's a bad scope. Let me, let me be honest. It's a really nice scope, but this Murray and RDS, it was the IR Sauron. The IR Sauron scope was so nice. It was clean. But yeah, every single one of these is going to have the Rasmussen now. So unfortunately, if you did really like the scope, you won't be able to get it again. But I will still say the boss friend is coming back. It's going to be really, really nice. And we got to showcase why you should be hyped for this to come back. Because as I said, it's just one of the goats. And I'm so hyped for this to come back with the instant light. Free to play update, boys. So without further ado, let's go into PvP with the Blast Furnace Pulse Rifle. Alrighty, so we are going to be on, of course, Widow's Court with their Blast Furnace. And I know Widow's Court, you might think, it's your Pulse Rifle. It's not going to drag right. This thing boasts so much range. This is going to be the Rasmussen site, by the way. So, oh. Oh. Oh my god. Man down, boys. Man down. I repeat. Man down. Keep your heads down. Please do not get... Do not slap me, please. Oh, and it's a freaking grenade instead. But yeah, these sorts of weapons and everything, they are going to be nice. And a freaking sprout control. Oh my god. Please do not kill me. My god. My sprout is absolutely screwed me. Oh, we can get this guy. Oh, no. Some guy up my ass. Mashallah. Why are you up my ass like that, bro? Come on. Well, I will say that the Blast Furnace, this thing boasts so much range. 450 aggressive frame burst. Also has a range master. You can still find it on my roll anyway. There was some insane rolls you used to be able to get on this for range and whatnot. You can definitely see, even at this range as well, I'm doing 23 crit, which isn't too bad considering how far away he is. And, oh, give me the kills. Oh, the double kill. Yep. Okay, guys, you know the strat. You want to get a high KD, you tickle some booty, and you never get any kills. I mean, I've killed it, bro, so I should. But you only tickle them so that they get weakened and everything. And give me one of these. Thank you. <laughs> I ran into a freaking bee's nest to them. But yeah, the Blast Furnace, as I said, it is my baby. I am a bit sad, of course, with the Strasbuse site being the thing. I mean, it's not the worst, okay? It's a really clean ass scope. And that's what it went for because it's beyond like the hammerhead as well. Oh, Kill Clip saved me. Thank you very much. My God, Kill Clip under this is so nice. And oh, there's the damage again. Man, this is going to get Kill Clip freaking head secret. That is just going to be insane PvP. But yeah, when it comes to the scope and everything, I am a bit sad that we don't have the Mirren or the S. I mean, it's just like a legit Iosaron sort of scope. It was so nice. Of course, I do appreciate that we get extra ranges and whatnot, and extra freaking what's it called. Power attachments, so you can kind of kind of focus more for stability or whatnot if you want to. But it's still going to be a pain point for me to have to use this. I mean, the Iosaron was so clean. But I will still say that the Blast Furnace, this is still going to be a really, really dope ass sort of pulse rifle and everything. As I said, this thing... Oh, it's one of my babies. Look at that triple burst from that range. Four bullets at a time. Oh, it was so good when it came out. I'm telling you right now. It's going to be an absolute blast when it comes back. I can't see him. We'll get the kills anyway. <laughs> I can kill Creep going now as well. So I should be able to just annihilate someone, buddy. Buddy, real quick. I ran out of it. It's super deep corner. Oh, I'm going to get blasted. Yo, young man. Anyone over here just want to help me out? Kill my teammate. Party. I will avenge you. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, any sort of damage buff on this as well, though. And as I said, it will start to do absolute work. Of course, when they're up close, that's where you're going to struggle a little bit. Because you can see any sort of strafe when you're kind of screwed. But for the most part, this pulse just feels so juicy. It's got a nice kick to it, too, in terms of, like, the, the noise of it and everything as well. Oh, thanks for the heal, buddy. That really saved me. Look, look at that range. It can just annihilate. I'm telling you. 
I know 450s and these uh, aggressive frames aren't exactly the meta pulses, and pulses generally aren't meta at the moment because damages and everything like that. But the Blast Furnace itself, once this comes back, it's going to be so freaking nice. I mean, Black Armory weapons, they're all super, super good. I know a lot of people are probably annoyed that they didn't get the Kindled Orchard back. The reason they kind of mentioned that they couldn't bring back Kindled Orchard and like other hand cannons, mainly is because... There's already like two hand cannons coming back, but otherwise they would have to bring back every single hand cannon, okay? They could, they didn't want to do that. They obviously brought back 12 weapons. They brought back some of the original goats, guys, and that's what you're going to get. You're getting recluse, mountaintops, the last fair is because it was a banger. You're getting freaking uh, what's called hammerhead, which is another black army weapon. Edge transit for the memes, because no one's going to be using that unless it's goaded. But I will still say, I'm so happy Blast Furnace is coming back. Kinsel Lord would have been really nice with Kill Clip Rampage again. That would have been a super nice roll. But I still do think that we'll get the Sonic. Oh my god, of course. It's a freaking Kamehameha. Who uses Chaos Reach in this day and age? But yeah, Blast Furnace coming back, it makes me really happy because, as I said, it is just a really nice pulse rifle. Kinsel Lord would have been really nice to come back too. But if it's going to be Black Army weapons. It was always going to be between this and a Kindled Orchard. Ring and Nail and all them, not so much, really. You had, of course, the um, Tatara Gaze, which was a good sniper, but, I mean, Mercury, I love watches there. I get it. Some people want the favorites to come back, but for the guys who did love their freaking Blast Furnace, you're going to be eating good right now because this thing is on its way back, and it's Sparrow freaking... I... Wait, oh, yeah, those Sparrows weren't in this when Sparrow Control was... Uh, when Sparrow Control came out, right? The freaking Surfboard one. Get this guy though. He's one HP, boys. Someone got his ass for me. Give me this kill at least. And I didn't get him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping that I get some really, really nice rolls for PvE because it could definitely go absolutely ham there if, with the right rolls and stuff. Because as I said, it's just it's nice all around. 450 RPMs. I think they're really, really solid ass pulses now. Can I find anyone? They're legit all sitting back in spawn. And I run over to them and their whole team is just dead within two seconds. And yo, Sparrows, can we stop bumping into me for like five freaking seconds every time I'm fighting someone? Like, didn't even get that kill to get kill clip going. Oh, my God. All right, we'll get this guy though. He's at range. And that's a freaking sniper or a freaking scout rifle some form. That's a dead body. <laughs> this guy down here using like a prophet or something like that. He's just absolutely dumb. He's a freaking chill. I mean, this, this does go far, but I mean, some ranges. Can't really go that far. And, oh my god, he's got absolutely annihilated. Oh, buddy, with the freaking well. These are all so screwed. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy, I got your back. Oh my god, he just absolutely crapped on all of them. But I will still say that the uh, Blast Furnace, yeah. 100% be excited for this to come back. As I said, PvP is going to be an absolute freaking masterclass. Hey, boys. Freaking don't mind if I drop in. Nope. <laughs> oh, this destroyed. It's got 44 crit. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be so glorious. Yeah, 100 percent Oh, we second him. 100 percent blast furnace. Be excited for this to come back. I know there's a lot of people who are gonna be anyway because they love this uh, this weapon, but I just think overall this blast furnace. Oh my god, it's just it's absolutely beautiful. Looks wise, it's great. Sounds wise, it's great, and feeling wise, it's just super out. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a goat when it comes back out. Well, that is it for me, and of course the blast furnace itself. I know we just did the one PvP game and everything like that, but realistically, I could go into PvE with this, but without like a kinetic tremors roll or whatnot. It's got to be kind of like your bog standard 450 RPM pulse or just like a normal pulse in PvE and everything. But I will still say, Blast Furnace, this is going to be so nice when it comes back. I think there's probably a bit more hype more toward like Luna's Hells, which technically kind of got a nerf. Obviously, Recluse is like high full, of course, with Mountain Top and everything. So this isn't probably going to be on everyone's bucket list. But I will definitely say there is a strong contingent of us guys who love the Blast Furnace. And I'm telling you guys, I've made so many videos on why this should come back. And I'm so happy it is because this thing's an absolute beast in both pvp and pve of course as i said there's going to be the head seeker and kill clip rolls as well there is also a new perk that we'll get as well and our urgent trade too and it will be enhanceable as well because obviously all these weapons will be enhanceable when it gets to the final shape so i'm telling you blast furnace as far as kinetic pulses go this is just going to be shoulders ahead of everything else as i said all these weapons that are coming back from into the light they're all going to be goaded every single one of these is legit going to be nearly best in slot bar a few kind of like energy slots or whatnot but for the most part blast furnace Probably going to be one of the best pulse rifles in the game in the kinetic slot. I'm telling you right now, there is a brand new weapon coming as well. But Blast Furnace, when this comes back, it's definitely going to be worth grinding for. So yeah, as I said, for everybody who used to love this, I know there's a couple of guys who have definitely subbed to me who do love this weapon. Because every time I do a video on it, you guys miss it so much. Be hyped though, boys, because the Blast Furnace, it is guaranteed to come back. We've seen it, it is coming back. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like. And if you see more content, subscribe for fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.